Hello, I'm Steve Tarani, and welcome to The Art of Disarming. Today, our scope of study will include the fundamentals and practical application of disarming an edge weapon at extreme close quarters. Disarming is the taking away of a weapon from the hand or hands of your opponent. There are many different systems, there are many different methods of disarming, and these are all considered tools in the toolbox. The material on this DVD is not considered the way, but a way to accomplish the task of taking a weapon away from your opponent. An important topic to discuss with regards to disarming is the movies versus reality. And what you see in the movies and what actually occurs in real life are two different things. In the movies, even superstars like Jackie Chan and uh, Chuck Norris and Jet Li require hours and hours of preparation and choreography to make a scene look right. In real life, You've only got one shot. In most cases, you have less than a second and a half. So the purpose of this training is to at least have something in your toolkit to use should you need it. In this next physical training section, we're going to focus on the return to sender option. Keep in mind that, remember our situation. We're in a confined area of operation. If it was an open area and I had space, I can either exit or, remember, throw something in between myself and the threat, and equalize, and then exit. However, we're uh, stuck in the corner, backed up against the wall. My only options are either no response or some type of a response. Okay, we'll take our first, uh, our first scenario, which is, again, at contact range, very bad position to be. This is a low-line thrust around belt level. And it looks something like this, coming straight into the abdominal aorta or the inferior vena cava, which are uh, very vulnerable low-line targets. So, first step, you want to step out of the line of attack, and remember our three Ds, distract, disable, and then disarm. As soon as it's returned to sender, the blade is returned to sender, you're going to check the weapon arm and move to a position of safety. Okay, in this particular example, the uh, thrust is going to be coming in on a curved angle, very difficult angle to pick up. And if we just uh, move to distract just by itself and there's no disabling, it could result in less than optimal condition. If we uh, move to disable without distracting, then of course he can continue with the other hand or you know, apply uh, additional threats. And lastly, if we apply distract and a disable and we remain in the same position, it might be sweaty, bloody, heavy clothing, something like that. Your body is not in, a, in an optimal position. You still need to move the body out of the way. So rather than doing them in order, one, then two, then three, which uh, expose your, uh, your soft targets, it needs to be applied together all as one movement. Okay. 